Yeah, so as you can see, I'm not actually in Miami. Thanks a lot, coronavirus. All right, so for a number of reasons, common sense, moral obligation, the fact that I watched Outbreak a few weeks ago, I decided not to take my trip to Miami after all. But a mini series I promised and a mini series you certainly deserve. So um, this is Big Mix Food and this is not quite the Miami mini series. This is the Midlands mini series. <laughs> yeah, I know. Doesn't have quite the same ring to it, but it'll have to do. <laughs> All right, stop number one is called the Tap House in Mansfield. Been around the world and I, I, I. Wait, that's Stansfield, not Mansfield. Anyway, it's a brekkie. They stop serving at 12 midday and uh, it's quite a drive away, so let's get a wriggle on. All right, here we are, the Tap House. They spell it like uh, Tap House, the, the, <laughs> the German version. Yeah, you're right, that was just a shameless excuse to do an Arnie impression. Let, let's get in there. So has anyone, um, has anyone ever, have you seen somebody finish this before? I've never seen anyone finish it, no. Has it's anyone? Paul share it and they still don't finish it. No, nobody's, nobody's done it. A guy had it last week on his own. Um, How do you do? He couldn't, he couldn't eat all the bread and he says it's more important to eat the protein than the bread. Maybe he's been watching my videos, that sounds like something I'd say. <laughs> you say you want to see if I beat it? Yeah. See if you can eat it. You, can see if you, do. you don't think I'll be able to do it, no? I do actually, yeah. Alright, we got... One person thinks I can do it, the other person doesn't think I can do it. The size of you, it should be humanly possible. <laughs> yeah, right. I did, it'd be good. That's it. Oh, you're on to me. <laughs> right, so today I'm at uh, the Tap House, which is in Mansfield. What else? Mansfield, Mansfield, comma, Woodhouse. So, okay, yeah, Mansfield, well, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. And uh, I'm taking on this uh, 41 piece mega breakfast challenge. I mean, look at, look at the size of it. It's huge. No time limit or anything, but I'm gonna start a, a timer just for fun. So, um, let's get going. What do you think? So, so one person thinks I'm going to do it, uh, the other person thinks I'm not going to do it. What's your vote? The bread. I think it's the bread. So you think no? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm going to go Ooh, I, I've got to prove everyone wrong now, right? Okay, let's get started. Tw 20, 20 seconds down already. I'm still going to be here at 9 o'clock tonight, aren't you? You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Bid Army? Welcome to episode number one of the... Um, the Midlands miniseries, which replaces what would have been, admittedly, a far more tropical and cosmopolitan trip to Miami. <laughs> but, um, you know what? I know a lot of people out there were psyched up for a miniseries. A lot of people enjoy them. And I think at a time like this, the last thing I wanted to do was, was leave everyone kind of disappointed. You can put the music back on, by the way. <laughs> right, what next? I don't normally eat eggs with my hands, but... <laughs> <laughs> what? Pull the other one, son. I don't think I've ever eaten eggs with a knife, fork, spoon, or any other utensil. It's still pretty warm. <laughs> Maybe I should have left it a few minutes longer. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time I've got stuck in too early. But um, as I said, episode number one's taking place at the Tap House, or Tap House, <laughs> in Mansfield. I'm taking on the undefeated Mega Breakfast Challenge. Do you have any, uh, any napkins? I get the feeling this is gonna get well, it's already got messy, actually. <laughs> That's what you get for eating eggs with your uh, your bare hands. Thank you very much. <laughs> what next? Let's do the uh, let's do the let's do the hash browns. Yeah, hash browns next. I didn't give too much thought to the order in which I did these things, but I knew I was leaving mushrooms to the end. Gotta love some black pudding. No spam on this breakfast either, which is a plus. Still clearly traumatized by that spam-laden Judgment Day breakfast from a few weeks ago. <laughs> Move this here. Oh, look at all the bread. <laughs> Make some bacon sandwiches. 
Yeah, hey, why not? Seems like a thing to do. There's plenty of bread to spare. I didn't actually count the amount of slices, but I, I see this as being the, the main stumbling block for most people. Just the sheer amount of, of bread involved. You can tell how much tomato sauce is in there because I've been dipping in that since the start and it's just, <laughs> it's not moved. Yeah, still though, it should satisfy the people that hate watching me just hock the food down dry. You know, watching me dip stuff. As you can see here, I'm, I'm dipping in the uh, the pure red tomatoes and the, uh, the the bean juice too. Although I did um I did dip most of the bacon sandwiches in the the pure tomatoes and tried to leave the beans and accompanying bean juice for the fried bread because I love that kind of flavor and texture of fried bread dipped in in bean juice for some reason I have, have since I was a kid pretty much. I have to say this breakfast is delicious. It really is nice. Fried bread too, my favorite. I love fried bread. Oh, that crunch. Don't you love it? I, mean, I think fried bread is one of those things we only really eat in Britain, but this is like dessert for me. I'm just going to soak them in there for a while. Yeah, let them get right good and moist. <laughs> just soaking the, uh, soak the fried bread in the bean juice, just to soften it up a bit. Yeah, not just delicious though, also a functional advantage because the fried bread was pretty crispy. I think I just love the, the saucy fruitiness contrast with the crisp, greasy bread. I don't know how well you can actually see the timer. How long have I been going, actually? 15 minutes. Yeah, not too shabby for uh, for episode number one. Anyway, yeah, a couple of words on the, the challenge. It is a pay-to-play, which we have a lot of in England, meaning you don't get the meal free if you, uh, you win. You don't even get, like, a, a prize, not even a T-shirt or a certificate or anything, but um, quite a few people, maybe, like, six, seven people asked me to, to do this a while ago, and, yeah, I can't say no to an undefeated challenge, even if there's no free food involved. Kind of using the fried bread as like a, a spatula now to, to dig dig out the, the tomatoes. Yeah, which there were a great many. <laughs> but um, the, the food was really good. I, I actually enjoyed it. The exception being the, the mushrooms. The bacon wasn't quite as crisp as I would like, but that's kind of like subjective. But the quality of food for 1895 was really good. I love that taste though, you know when you, when you put fried bread in, be in bean juice, just let it sit there, I love it, I don't know. Judging by your reaction, that's that's weird, yeah. No? <laughs> there, was, um, there was definitely a grimace from that lady when I told her about the whole Dunkin' thing, but I, I don't know. Tell me in the comments if anyone else is this enthusiastic about Dunkin' fried bread in bean juice. I won't lie, I'm not looking forward to eating the puree tomatoes, but... Gotta be done. Looking back at this now, it might have been an idea to kind of mix the the wet stuff with the uh, the mushrooms. But then, why ruin two perfectly enjoyable elements of the breakfast, the beans and the tomatoes, by, by mixing them with mushrooms, I guess. <laughs> One thing I guarantee you I'm not going to enjoy on this breakfast is the mushrooms. Still can't stand them. Yep, but um, most people watching this are probably very familiar with my anti-fungus propaganda. Anyway, hope you're looking forward to the, the mini-series. Decided to go on a, a little kind of jaunt around the Midlands, a little farther south than I normally go on day trips. Ye of little faith. You said I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> the manager just said, he's not normal, is he? <laughs> I, can't, I can't argue with that. Not normal, you say? <laughs> She's definitely on something there. But um, yeah, there are going to be, I think, four more episodes in this mini-series. I'll be looking forward to it. The ones I've filmed so far... I've actually been really good, so I, I think you're going to enjoy the content. But thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you next time. Do I have to eat the butter? Definitely not. No, I don't want to I've told you. You doubted me? I feel hurt. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'll give you a little pause. I really enjoyed it. I feel like the girl should be on the floor. Bloody hell. <laughs> Thank you. Mushrooms. Right. Time for the next stop. Oh. Mushrooms. Right, that's uh, that's breakfast done. Now I've got a book, a hotel, and I'm going to be heading down to around the Leicester area. So it's about another 40 minute journey from here. I'm going to check into a hotel and then 6 p.m. tonight, I'm going to be doing uh, a challenge in a place called Melton Mowbray, which is famous for uh, 
making pork pies. Tonight it's not gonna be a pork pies though. Pizza pie. They're just a pizza. I'm gonna be doing a 20 inch pizza challenge. It's been a while since I did two food challenges in uh, in one day, but this time, this time it's personal. You have to tune into the next episode to see why. But um, right now I think I better call Mrs. Beard because last, um, last I told her, I was heading to Miami. You're probably wondering why I didn't bring her with me on the trip. She's actually in Chlandudno in, uh, in Wales <laughs> because uh, she thought I was gonna be in Miami, obviously. And uh, she doesn't like to stay at home uh, by herself. So she went on holiday with uh, some, uh, some family and friends. So I'm gonna give her a call now and uh, just let her know what I'm doing because I know she likes to check up on me on uh, the Find My Friends app. So if she sees me hundreds of miles from home, she's gonna think that I'm up to some kind of mischief. So let's just set her mind at ease. No answering, probably asleep. Hello. Hey babe, how you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. So, um, I, a bit rude, coughing down the phone. I, I didn't end up going to, um, I didn't end up going to, to Miami because of the whole coronavirus thing. But, um, I know you like checking up on me on Find My Friends, so I thought I'd better tell you that, um, if you see me hundreds of miles from home, um, I'm not schmoozing with any other women. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Are, 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 you, are, are you quite finished? <laughs>